Good morning everybody and welcome back to Crochet Through Corona. I hope you're all staying well and staying safe. Um, today we are going to be doing a similar project to the last project of the phone sock. I hope some of you have had some success with that. These are our phone socks that we made the other day. Um, today we're going to be making a glasses sock. Sunglasses season is definitely upon us with this beautiful weather we've been blessed with during lockdown. Um, so it's a really similar concept two panels crocheted together, two panels of half double crochet, single crochet together around the edge to give a little glasses case. <clears throat> now the main difference between this and the phone sock is that instead of doing short and many rows, uh, as we did for the glasses, uh, for the phone sock, we're going to do long and fewer rows. And I think this is actually easier in some ways because when you come to crochet around the outside, um, the crocheting down the longer edge is easier um, than when you do it on the longer edge of the phone sock because you're, you're going down along the top and bottom of rows rather than down the side of rows like we did with the phone sock, which is a bit trickier. So it does end up looking a little bit neater, I think. So to um, begin with, we will need a darning needle your crochet hook, some scissors and two colours of yarn. So I'm using this and this for my new project. And you'll need to start by making two swatches. Now I've already got one here but I will just talk you through how you make your swatch. So you'll need to chain your foundation chain to the length of your glasses. So I'll give you a demonstration there. So you need to do it to the length of your glasses, plus a little bit more for the ends, because obviously it is a deeper um, project than your foam. And then you need to remember that once you've got the desired length of your foundation chain, you need to add two extra chains. And that's because when you start with your half double crochet, you don't go into the first chain from hook, you go into the second chain from hook. So you need to do the length that you want, add two extra chains. And then you half double crochet along your foundation chain and then turn um, and depending on what method you're using, I turn change what, chain one and then half double crochet back in all of the stitches along. And I'll just give you a quick reminder of how we half double crochet because I've got my last stitch to do here of this swatch. So we yarn over before we put our stitch into the hook, uh, the hook into the stitch even. And then we insert our hook, we yarn over and pull through, and yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. Now to fasten off, um, you can do it slightly neater than uh, on this project. So what we can do is we can chain one, like we would normally to fasten off, and then you can slip stitch into just below that last half double crochet. So to slip stitch, you insert your hook, you yarn over, and pull through and then you pull through the loop that's already on your hook and then you fasten off and it just helps uh, provide um, a little start when you're coming back across with your crochet and single crochet in, and it just makes it that bit easier to crochet into those stitches there so I'm just going to fasten off this last bit here before we swap colors so you will need two of these swatches both the same size, I should say, both the same size. Um, and you need to make sure when you're doing deciding on when to stop, how many rows to do, that you've allowed for the fact that glasses are deep. So if they're only just the right size to cover the, the width of your glasses, then you're probably going to struggle to um, squeeze your glasses in once you have sewed them to crochet them together. So I'll just show you what I mean by that when I've finished going through for my third time. So for example, if I show you my glasses, I keep going blind here. Um, so I could have stopped at the end of that row, in theory, um, because that's the top height of my glasses. But because it's deep, the cloth needs to be able to wrap round a bit. So you need to make sure that both parts are going to meet. So this is actually going to be quite snug even though it has got a, la um, a bit of give in it. So make sure you, do, you don't stop too early. 
put these back on so you can actually see what I'm doing. <clears throat> then we're going to match up our swatches. So we put our tail ends together. You can have sewn these tail ends in if you rather. I quite like crocheting them in because it means less sewing, but it's up to you. So if you um, are struggling with the crocheting them in, do feel free to sew these in before we start. And then we're going to start down the left hand side of the swatches and remember we're going to do them both together and then you need your second colour so here's my second colour I'm just going to take the tension and then I'm going to hold it behind the second swatch and then I'm not going to go into this first corner chain I'm going to go into the second chain there we go and I'm going to yarn over and pull through then I will chain one I'm still pinching tight behind the work to change the color and I'm going to do a second insert there to make sure I can do a single crochet which will then secure the yarn a bit so that's my first single crochet and then just like we have done on other occasions we're just going to crochet all the way along this edge and it's a bit easier than going down the side of the rows because there's more obvious places where you want to insert your hook so it's one single crochet per foundation chain basically and you want to match up the front and the back to make sure that when you get to the end they're still even so this is the tedious bit where you just watch me do this there's only so many I've prepared early as I can do. So here we are. You get to listen to me chatter instead. So I'll show you my little joy of the day. I came down this morning to some freshly baked sourdough bread um, that my husband had made. He likes a little project. Yesterday, um, sourdough I think is a little bit of a, an interesting yeast situation. So it's you have a starter um, and that you just keep alive and then uh, you discard some and feed it. It's like having another pet actually. As if two children under, two, a two year old and a one year old isn't enough. We now have a, a yeasty pet. <laughs> um, so yesterday when he discarded some, we made sourdough pizzas from it. So that was quite delicious. And um, this morning I came down to some lovely sourdough bread sat on the top, so I'm looking forward to sampling that in a minute. And as you go, just make sure you are keeping them aligned. If you go off a piece a little bit, don't worry. Just put them back in line and just carry on. I wonder whether you've got any things that you're beginning to feel really grateful for. I know it's a really challenging time staying home all the time. Some more challenging for some than others. Um, so I, can I encourage you to find things that um, you can find joy in? Just noting a few little blessings can make a big difference to our mental health. Okay, so I'm at the end of my side now and I'm going to insert my hook and do one single crochet. And then I'm going to chain one. This is allowing me to turn. And I'm going to do another single crochet in the same stitch. And now I'm ready to work along the top and I didn't sew my ends in so I'm going to pinch them to the top of my work as I go and so I've crocheted them in and don't need to sew them in later. And when we're crocheting along the end of rows, with single crochet you do one single crochet to the end of every row but with half double crochet it's one and a half single cro uh, crochets to the end of every row which obviously we can't do half crochet so we do two for one row and one for the next row. Not an exact science, so just do what you can do so it looks fairly evenly spaced. Pinch through a bit of yarn on each side of your swatch. Mm, finding that first one rather tricky here. There we go, I've made it through. Yarn over and pull through. And then just start your journey back along that bottom edge. So this will be the bottom edge of your case. I had my one year old jabs today, so I am having to find lots of joys from the day before we go for that. Because <laughs> I imagine that's not going to be all that fun, nor is him afterwards. Very grateful for Calpol. And then we 
coming towards the end so if you feel think you're at the end I think this is my last one I'm going to do this corner turn again I'm going to oh, I've caught a bit too much yarn through that so just going back in again there we go so I'm going to do my one single crochet for the end of the row and I'm going to chain one and go in a second time to make the turn and I'm going to drop my strays now my my ends because I feel like they're nice and secure and then we have a lovely actual stitches this time to be able to see where we're going so you just work through each of those stitches she says but she catches a wrong thread and I've actually gone underneath both parts so just be a little bit careful that you are going under the right parts of the V there we go one two through both tops of the stitches should be easier to match them up on the way back excuse my tummy I think it can smell that bread ready for some went for a lovely little walk last night and we were able to enjoy the evening sun how much warmer it is now it's such a um i'm going to say blessing again i do feel blessed with that um i can't imagine have been locked down in winter not being able to get out as much as we are doing for our daily exercise And I know that some people are in nicer locations than others for the daily exercise, but do try and just find a simple joy in your walk whenever you can, whether that's feeling the warmth of the sun on your skin, the nice warm breeze. I noticed last night that even though there is a breeze, it was actually warm. I love a warm breeze. A bit sad, really. Or just the birds chirping. Okay, I'm coming up towards the end of my case now. Last couple of stitches. Okay. Now, that's my last one. So I've done one single crochet in it through both of them. I'm going to do my chain one, but I'm not going to go through both swatches now. I'm just going to go back into the first one and do my second single crochet. And then I'm going to just come along the edge of the fur, the closest swatch. This is to make the opening for your glasses to go in. And as I said earlier, it's about um, 1.5 to every row that you're going along the side of. So that's one single crochet in one row and two in the next. But once again, not an exact science, just find your way through it. Um, the only problem if you do too many is that you might find that it's stretching the work a bit too much and it ends up looking a bit of an odd shape. So that would be your downside. Uh, equally, if you do too few, you might be pulling it too tight together. So just be aware of that. I need to find my sunglasses before I can make use of this. So I've come to the last stitch in the row now and I'm going to do one single crochet chain and another single crochet to make that corner then I'm going to slip stitch into this single crochet here so the first one I'm going to do a slip stitch into that to join which is to chain up yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop that's on my hook and then I turn and I'm going to come back to the top of the next swatch and I'm going to do my one single crochet chain one single crochet and I turn that corner then and then we're going back along the top Didn't make it through any yarn there, so I'm going to try that again. Get here, so 
some little birds going now. I think we've got a little pigeon uh, nesting in our tree. I know pigeons aren't the most exciting of creatures, but hey, new life's new life, and that is exciting. So here we go. Right, just getting to the end, releasing a bit of yarn now. So I'm ready to do my last corner. So I've done my first single crochet. I'm going to chain one. Second single crochet. And then I am going to slip stitch into the opposite swatch to join the two together. And that is me done. There's my opening. It's got a nice edge on both sides. I'm now going to fasten off. And I'm going to just cut that there. Got a bit of a funny shape. I think that's just because I've been pulling it. Um, I can check to see if I did anything wrong there. It looks like I might have a few less on this top row, so I might have missed a few of the foundation chains. Um, but usually that would make it pull together. So I don't think that is what I've done. Um, I think it's just where I've been pulling it just then. So I'm going to fasten off now. Um, I'm going to pull that yarn through. And then, as in all the other projects, I will just sew in this end along here and this end along here and there you have your completed glasses case i can just cut off these bits because these have been crocheted in already and they are now secure so that's always a win when you can just cut one straight off um and there's your glasses case i hope that you enjoy making yours and make good use of yours this summer i'm going to pop mine in oh perfect size love it quite stylish if i do say so myself Easy gifts for people, birthdays coming up, get making. And then you'll be all sorted by the time we come out of um, lockdown. I'll go to Zeke to her, bless me. Well, I hope you have a great day. Enjoy the sunshine. Happy hooking and stay safe, stay home. See you soon.